Have any of you messed up in a project, like almost done and made a major mistake in the fabrication? I've seriously lost all motivation to fix it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome to Square Splinter if this is your first time watching. My name is Derek and today's video has really been such a long process. Delay after delay and just life getting in the way, you know, if you've ever felt that before. So saying all that, you're going to notice quite a bit of time jumping around and even the changing of a couple of seasons, noted by my clothing, all in the span of just a few minutes of this video. So as wonderful as all the delays were, I am genuinely excited and relieved to get this dining table project finished for not only me and of course my YouTube friends, but also my wife who has been waiting on our new dining room table for quite some time. And also, just to let you know, this isn't really a how-to video, but I hope you're still able to get some sort of inspiration or ideas from the builds that I make so you can go out and either create your own furniture, your own works of art, which honestly is always the sole purpose of my videos. So thank you for watching. Please enjoy the video and consider subscribing. If you haven't already, it really means a lot. So I spared everyone a lot of the wood milling processes through this. Um, I've processed most of this walnut into the clean boards. I've glued them together in the smaller, what I, I don't know, I guess I'll call them subsections. And now I'm ready to get those subsections glued together into what will be side A or one and side B or two, whatever you want to call it. And um, we'll have the two big sections with the steel running down the middle. But uh, I drilled the dowel holes just for the alignment on the top, helped me with some sanding afterwards. Uh, so I'm ready to get those in the holes, get some glue on here, get it in clamps, and we'll be ready for next step. So this is the flat stock pieces I'll be using to weld onto the top of my bases to kind of keep my tabletop flat. I got to drill some slightly enlarged or elongated holes in there that I'm going to then put threaded inserts into the top so that we can get everything screwed down and hopefully keep it flat. So i uh, got to mark some holes, get them drilled, and then we'll be ready to weld these on the top.
So after me figuring out real carefully where I wanted to put these holes to stabilize the top, I had originally thought that I only wanted this flat plate here to go on top of the legs to be able to support the top, but turns out that this 3 16 plate is just not quite thick enough. Uh, it's, not, it's just not staying straight. So I had the idea of putting these tubular supports on there. I welded the caps, ground everything down, ground everything down a lot, a lot of grinding. Uh, so now I wanna weld those onto these plates to be the underneath supports that are kind of hidden by the legs, but yet it'll make it super strong so my tabletop will never, never be able to bow or move or anything. Okay, so my goal the whole time was between the tops of the bases on each one, I want this to be able to be torn down. So I'm gonna have this kind of stretcher run down through the middle of the table, kind of for looks, but also maybe a little bit of strength as well. Um, these pieces are about the thickness of my top. And as you can see, I'm about a quarter inch short because I want this bar, because this is upside down, I want this bar to be flush with the top of the table when I'm finished, of course. So my issue is when I come to the end of the table, if this is flush, when I cap this, it's gonna be not as thick as the rest of the top. I don't really want that. So I'm gonna try to fake this and take some leftover plate from the bases and weld this on there before I cap the end of the tube. And I'm hoping, because this is pretty much even, I'm hoping that when I run a piece here and then cap the end of this and kind of grind it all down and make it pretty, um, it's gonna look like that that piece is as thick as the tabletop. That's the goal anyway. So I got these heavy duty leg levelers to use as the legs on the table base. I was initially gonna use them just like this and maybe paint them black and weld them in there, but I thought that was a little bit janky. So I decided I was gonna take them out, take some of the leftover steel I had from plasma cutting the sides, drill the hole in it to fit just the leg of the leveler. And then I welded a nut on the top so that it can screw thread in and out. So what I will do is I will thread that up, take this plate inside the leg like that. I haven't completely decided whether I'm going to put it towards the outside, towards the inside, right in the middle. I'm kind of going for the middle, I think, um, but I will weld those up and that way I'll have adjustable legs with floor protectors. It's better than just this heavy steel, of course, scraping on my floor. So yeah, get these welded up. We can move on to the next step.
if any of you messed up in a project, like almost done and made a major mistake in the fabrication, and now I've seriously lost all motivation, fix it. I'm laid here, last 10 minutes, listening to Pantera, any other soul crushing hard rock I can think of. Still not fixed. Let me show you. <clears throat> All right. Check this out. So I have the brass inserts that I already put in, right? All beautiful in the bottom. The way this was going to work is this is going to be put across here. The metal beam down the middle. This mounts to the metal beam. These, of course, line up on the metal inserts, or the brass inserts, whatever you want to call them. Bolt it in. Good to go. So once this is all done, I'm going to take this off, weld it to the legs so it's permanent. So then I can take the table down, take it home, wherever I need to take it out of the shop. And then all I have to do is put the top pieces onto this, which would be welded on the legs and then bolt it in. We're done, good to go, right? No, not good. Here we are. I put the threaded inserts in and drilled these holes before I put this reinforcement beam on here. That was a mistake because this beam interferes with my holes a little bit. So guess what? Those are about, oh man, an eighth of an inch in too much. So now, when I put these in there, I don't have enough room to squarely put this in with 90 degrees perpendicular to this so that I can get it to thread in correctly because this beam's in the way. I tried widening the holes and it's just not enough. Ah, so I thought, you know, I'll raise this up and I can screw them all down in evenly at the same time so that it's already below the beam. That didn't work. So let me show you what we're gonna do. attach these to the table, not weld them to the leg. The table and these supports will all be one piece. And then this will bolt to the legs and four points on each side. Be plenty strong enough. Not exactly what I wanted, but still gonna work just fine. 